one of my one of my cousins uh, was in the hospital back in Missouri, I think it was. And she was on life support. The doctor told the family she will not make it. And my grandma got the call that my that my cousin will not make it. I don't know how she got a hold of me down here. I got no phone. But somebody sent a word from my grandma down here to tell me. And so I started praying and I know and I know she's praying. Then I got a report back that she's home. Mm. Mm. You know that the doctors on earth doesn't know that much about the patient. The, the doctors on earth did it, does not know where that patient came from. That doctor doesn't know where the pain is, how the pain got started, but there's only one man that knows everything. Like me and my brother back here on the jumps, we were we were talking, and he and we were we were just discussing about about life and. About, about God. And he says, do you know that he can see you right? That he can see you right through? And if you put a, a plain glass up and you, and you look through it, that's what God sees in you. He looks right through you. Amen? And that's going to I just want to sing this one short song that I've been singing for years and years and years. And it, this, and it says in the Bible, train up a child. Where they should go, and when they get old, they will not depart from it. My grandma you know my grandma in here. My grandma taught me to go to church. My grandma taught me the right way about God. And when I was 10 years old on my birthday, I gave I gave my 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 I gave my life and my heart to God on my birthday. When I was 10 years old, and brothers and sisters, that was the best birthday gift I have ever had in my life. 18 years ago, I gave my life to the Lord. Still, today, I'm still praising His name.
that song in, encourages you to let to, to let God open your eyes, open your heart, so you can see God, so you can see our Lord. And I, and I thank God every day for my grandma, even though she's 80 miles away. I I still I still thank God for her, because if it wasn't for her. I want to be standing here right now. My grandma is 77 years old. And she's still preaching. Still preaching. And everywhere I go, even though, even right down to the store, she prays for me to have a safe trip there and back. She does that all the time. And I thank God. I thank Him. And I shouldn't be the only one to thank Him. We should all thank Him. We should all thank Him that we woke up this morning. We should all thank Him that He send us on our way. He has a plan for us each and every day. I just want to encourage you guys, encourage you guys to keep going. Don't look behind you. That's the past. Don't look behind you. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Keep that candle lit. And walk on for Jesus, and he will guide your path to righteousness. And I I just encourage you guys to keep going. Keep fighting. Keep that faith. And I was telling this one brother, I said, do you know what RIP means? Yeah, rest in peace. I go, yeah, but what's the other one? What does R.I.P. mean? He goes, I don't know. Rejoicing in paradise. Oh, it's not rest in peace no more. Uh -uh. It's not rest in peace no more. Yeah, you're resting, but you're home too. Rejoicing in paradise. Remember that. And I just encourage you to keep going. Keep on this Christian journey. Don't look back. May God bless you.